Question 29. Direction cosines of two lines are 1 over 3 minus 2 over 3, 2 over 3 and AB 1 over 3 respectively. <coughs> Find A and B such that the lines are perpendicular. Okay. Now, if the lines are perpendicular, then their dot product should be 0. So we'll start from there, right? So we'll say 1 over 3 2 over 3, this minus 2 over 3, and then 2 over 3, and dot product with A, B, and 1 over 3 is equal to 0. Okay? So that means let's multiply this and see what do we get. So A times this is A over 3, and B times this is minus 2B over 3. And 1 over 3 times this is plus 2 over 9 equals to 0, right? So we can multiply by 9 and then we get 3a minus 6b plus 2 equals to 0, correct? And now from here we can write equation in terms of a and b, right? So we can say, we can divide by 3 and then we can say, let's solve it. We say 3a minus 6b equals to 2 and then a minus 2b will divide by 3. 2b equals to 2 over 3, okay. So we get a in terms of uh, b and the number, correct? So let's say this is our equation number 1. Okay, let's call this as our equation number one, right? Now, another property of direction cosines is that this square plus this square plus that square is one, and that gives us a second equation. So we have two variables. To solve for two variables, we always need two equations. Otherwise, it'll result to parametric, right? So let's use that. That is a square plus b square plus 1 over 3 square is equal to 1 okay so from here we can say a square plus b square is equal to this is 1 over 9 so we'll take it on this side so 1 over 9 okay now now what we can do is we can plug in a from here so that we equation we have equation in b and then we can solve for b, right? So I'll just write this as a equals to 2b plus 2 over 3, correct? So, okay, oh, this was minus. Because 2 goes this side, this is minus, minus, I'm sorry. Good time to catch the mistake, right? So we get a equals 2b minus 2 over 3. So we'll put this value here for a, and then we get 2b minus 2 over 3 whole square plus b square is equal to 9 minus 1 which is 8 over 9. So that's what we get and let's expand this and then solve for b right. So a square will give us 4b square 2 times a b to 4 times 2 8 8 over 3b minus 8 over 3b uh, plus b square which is 4 over 9 plus this b square is equals to 8 over 9 correct now what we can do is bring all the terms to one side and solve for the answer so b square and 4b square becomes 5b square and here we have 8 over 3b and 4 over 9 minus 8 over 9 will give us minus 4 over 9, correct? Equals to 0. So that is what we get. Now to get rid of fractions, what we can do is we can multiply by 9 everything, right? And so we get 9 times 5 is 45. B square minus 3 times 8 because 3 times 3 is 9. So 24B minus, uh, minus 4 is equal to z, 0. 
Now that's a quadratic equation and uh, we can use quadratic formula to solve for this, right? So if we use quadratic formula, then we get b equals to minus b and b is 24 for us, minus 24, so it becomes plus 24 plus or minus square root of 24 square. Well, even if you write minus 24 square, minus 4 times ac, a is 45 and c is minus 4 square root divided by 2 times a which is 2 times 45 correct now we can use our calculator and solve for this right so we have 24 square 24 square okay equals to this and then we have minus and minus becomes plus so we have plus uh, 16 times 45 equals to 1296 and square root of 1296 is equal to 36 so we get 24 plus minus 36 over 90 correct so that is what we get and now we can solve for this so we can use plus and minus values so 1 is 24 plus 36 so 24 plus 36 is 60 divided by 90 so we get 60 divided by 90 which is okay so it is 3 2 over 3 right so 1 is 2 over 3 the other one is minus uh, 12 over 90 correct minus 12 over 90 which could be simplified as uh, 24 minus 36 so we can only divide by 12 over 90 right so so we will write we can divide this by just let's see 90 divided by 12 oh no sorry so 12 divided by 90 goes to 2 over 15 minus 2 over 15 so those are the two values of b for us correct now so we can write b as this and then find a so b is 2 over 3 so let's let's do it like this we need to find both a and b right so if we use b as 2 over 3 then from here a equals to 2 times b which is 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3 correct which is 2 over 3 correct if we use b as minus 2 over 15 then we get a equals to 2 times which is minus 4 over 15 take away 2 over 3 which is equal to so the common denominator is 15 we get minus 4 and 5 times 2 is 10 so which is minus 14 over 15 right so that's the value of b right so 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 we got the two possible answers correct and that shows this so so the direction cosines could be they could be a as 2 over 3 and b is also 2 over 3 and 1 over 3 so this is one possible from this set of values and the other one is a is minus 14 over 15 and b is uh, minus 2 over 15 and 1 over 3 so these are the two possible answers correct so so these are the two possible answers so there are a lot of calculations involved okay but uh, the thing is yeah, it's kind of complicated and uh, so the idea is when the two direction cosines are given to us then find the dot product equate to zero and then from here we get one equation which has both a and b in it the other equation you get from the direction cosines that is 
this square plus this square plus this square is 1 always okay now you can check here right this square is like 1 over 9 and this is minus square will become 4 over 9 4 over 9 4 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 9 over 9 is 1 correct so a square plus b square plus 1 over 3 square is equal to 1 that gives us a second set of equations one we have once we have these two sets of equations we can always solve for the two variables correct and that's kind of complicated equations and there we are with a very simple answer right i hope you get it this is kind of a complicated uh, equation but go through it try to do your calculations check them and hopefully you should get it right thank you